Nice. Hey. 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 Good day and welcome to another episode of the Rhino's Top. I'd say tens, but I don't think I'm going to get ten this time. Tops. The Rhino's Tops. Uh, for me, this is going to be my top breweries of 2015. So this will be new breweries. Uh, uh, and in new breweries, I'll put an asterisk. Breweries that at the very most either opened in 2015 or had their first anniversary in 2015. I'll give that because I want to get more than just a couple. And yeah, let's go on. So, um, we'll start from the bottom. And this is just coming off the top of my head. Okay, so these are, these are just things that are coming right off of here and going straight to you guys. Um... First, let's say, uh, Alora Brewing Company. Uh, I went to Alora Brewing Company in Alora, Ontario. They will be my bottom tier of new breweries for 2015. They opened recently. They opened, uh, in the summer, I believe it was. Beautiful, beautiful location. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful food. Oh my god, is the food good. It's all artisanally made. Uh, in the end, they're going to be making mad beer disease because they're taking their spent grains, they're selling them to a pork farmer who's feeding the spent grains to his pork, and then he's going to be selling the pork to them to feed to you, so it's going to be mad beer disease. The zombies are coming! Uh, really, he's at the very bottom because he made a lager that was good, the Three Fields Lager. Okay. An apple ale that was good. Okay. Uh, wheat beer. No thank you. And his lady friend IPA was fucking outstanding. So because of that, yay to him. Uh, next, uh, number, number, uh, I don't know where I, how many I'm doing. This is just coming off the top of my head and whether or not I think they're worth a list. Uh, Nita Brewing Company. Nita Beer Company in, uh, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. First off, one of my childhood friends, his little brother works there. Awesome. The guy that owns Nita, Andrew, is an amazing guy. Uh, I loved talking to him. He makes a coconut beer that's fucking amazing. He makes a stout called Perfection that is fucking amazing. He makes a lot of good beers and a lot of subpar beers. But Well, I shouldn't say subpar, but just above par for me. For me. But uh, his amazing beers, the uh, brown ale, the stout, and the coconut brown, oh my fucking god. And if you're in the Ottawa area and you haven't tried need a beer yet, go. You need a beer. You need a beer. Okay? Uh, next. <clears throat> Mash Paddle. You know what? Uh, Mash Paddle will be above everybody else just because the people were awesome. Um, I don't think their beer is as good as some of the other choices that are there. But, uh, yeah, awesome guys nonetheless. We're going to go take a walk this way. Uh, we're going to go into the dark. Sorry, I just got the your battery's dying message. So we're going to walk this way. We're going to take this guy here, the charger. Bad things could have happened there. Bad things really could have happened there. I'm going to plug the charger in. And we're going to turn on this light. And we're going to put you back in your holder that you just fell out of. There you go, people. We are back. We are back and better than ever. Um, so, in all honesty... I'd say Mash Paddle's at the very bottom. So I'd go Mash Paddle, then I'd go Alora, then I'd go Nita. Mash Paddle just had awesome people that loved the industry and were cool guys to talk to. Um, so after those three, I'd go to Brother Beer Company. Now, Brother Beer Company came out with the Great Pumpkin Draft, and basically they bought a 900-pound pumpkin. They cut it open. They did all the wort inside the pumpkin. They heated it up and did the boil inside the pumpkin and then they boiled it again inside a uh, inside a ferment uh, inside a mash tun itself but they did most of the mash in the pumpkin and then when they were done they cut another hole in the pumpkin for the 
actual tap handle and they put the kegs inside the pumpkin to serve it to you at a beer festival. I think that's fucking amazing. They also made a white chai stout, which uh, did win an award at my beer festival in, in May for most creative beer and it was fucking outstanding as well those guys they actually had this business plan for a while one of the brothers went to brock university for accounting and business management and the other brother went to niagara college for brewmasters brewmasters and brewery management and that's the most amazing thing ever two brothers that are like this is what we want to do how can we do it oh this is how we can do it let's go do it and i think with that i give them a kudos and a bravo they did a great uh next burdock brewing in toronto ontario uh burdock brewing i had six of their beers so far there was two that i was no thank you about and the other four i liked enough to give over a six to a uh, nine and well no sorry a 9.5 was the highest i just did it tonight they have a big scope of beers. They're not like those breweries that open up with just, you know, hey, let's open up and just make a cream ale, or let's make a cream ale, a lager, a um, IPA. Let's make an IPA, a pale, and a this. No, they opened up with a bunch of different brands. Hell, what he brought me was a lager, a light lager, no, a Pilsner, a light lager, a uh, dark saison, a Berliner Weiss, with peach and apricot, a, oh, what were the other ones, a pale ale, and a f IPA, uh, like, that's a good range of beers, um, if they had brought, say, something like a porter or something, I'd probably be in love with them, but he didn't, uh, next, for my top new breweries of 2015, Royal City. I didn't think I'd get to try any Royal City beers. I don't think any of them really blew me away, but they were all good. I haven't had one beer from Royal City that I didn't give over a 7, and I think that gives them a, a thumbs up. They are tiny, like smaller than you would expect. You go into the brewery and you're like, this is small. And then you, uh, you actually go and get to see what they're brewing on, and you're this is really small <laughs> and that's awesome about them that they're making great quality beer with a lot of different styles and a very small amount now yeah some people have, i've heard some people complain about their price they are pricey and they're going to be pricey the priciness comes with breweries that well priciness comes with breweries that brew very small because they have a less favorable margin they need to make that margin in a lot less bottles. So the bottles have to be a little more expensive. Uh, next, two of them, I'm going to say Tide. Block 3 Brewing in St. Jacobs, Ontario. And Innocente. Innocente was uh, 2015, maybe late 2014. Uh, Block 3 was early 2014, but still they fall into the category because they just did one year anniversary. Block 3 does some amazing beers, and if you haven't gone out to St. Jacob's to see them, go do it. They're in a wonderful little location that was right beside the old St. Jacob's uh, market before it burnt down. They do some great beers. Their Saison is actually an under 5% alcohol Saison, so I have to love it with everything I bitch about with Saisons. It, it is something that I must love, and I do. I really do like that beer. Uh, they make some great barrel age beers. They come up with a lot of styles. And Innocente, if you go to Block 3, is only like 10 minutes away in Waterloo. And he does specialize in, uh, in hoppy beers, but I really like his dark beers uh, much, much more than his hoppy beers. His hoppy beers are good, yes. But things like, uh, Guilty Until Proven Innocent, fucking amazing. His uh, porters have been amazing. The things he comes up with are usually pretty fucking good. Uh, and lastly, uh, lastly for me, for new breweries of 2015, and you got to remember that I don't get to try every beer from every new brewery. That's where I need your help. I need you to send me things. I'll try and send things back. I usually do send things back. I think there's only been twice I haven't. But I can't get every. Um, my number one brewery for 2015 is 
Black Swan. Black Swan came to the Albino Rhino Beer Festival in May. Black Swan came to the May Beer Festival. They walked away with uh, top brewery and top beer. Their Wild Child Berliner Weiss is probably the best Berliner Weiss I've ever had, and people loved it. They kept hitting that brewery up and buying up as much stuff as they could. And Black Swan, kudos to you for making some amazing fucking beers. Your Pale Ale was awesome, your Mosaic beer was awesome, your Porter was just a standard Porter, but it was one of the best just standard Porters I've had in a long time. You guys do everything that I've tried right. I still haven't been able to get out to your brew house. One day I will because I want to film there. I want to chat with you. I want to sit down. Fuck! You guys make some amazing beers. Every brewery I mentioned makes some amazing beers or has at least some amazing people. Sorry about that fart. I didn't want to do that on this video. It just happens. It just happens. So that was the Rhino's top new breweries of 2015. What are your top new breweries of 2015? Let me know. Au revoir, abiento. See you soon. Bye bye.